Hi, friends. Thank you for joining me for our weekly pastor's update. In my travels, when people ask me what kind of church we are, I tell them that we are a church that meets the poor where they are by walking with them, sharing our lives, and not just our resources. I boast that we are committed to a relationship model of church and not simply a helper model of church from a safe distance. I speak of our strong commitment to not abandon the city and our willingness to go wherever God needs us to be. I am so looking forward to the Mental Health River Walk and the luncheon that will follow. There's still time to participate. This walk is something that everyone can participate in, whether you are in Rochester or Canada or Detroit or North Carolina or Florida or elsewhere. We have been so blessed by God with beautiful waterways and rivers wherever we are to walk alongside of on this planet. The best part for me, in addition to raising money for the amazing work of our mental health center, is all the amazing walking partners I get to talk to along the way. There is so much that you can cover in conversation and connection when you walk with others. I think it is why I am also excited about the opportunity of voting to find a new home in an inner city neighborhood. The opportunity to walk and connect with people in neighborhoods struggling with social and economic problems in our city as Jesus did in his ministry feels like our core. It is why we have been so successful as a parish working with and advocating for the homeless, the incarcerated, youth experiencing violence, immigrants, people of color, the impoverished, and those recovering from addiction or seeking mental health care. I realize that it takes a lot of courage to follow Jesus' example of radical, unconditional, fearless love in our world right now. If this community has anything that I am proud of, it is your courage. This courage is what will propel us forward as it propelled Jesus' disciples in this passage from Acts 1 and 8 that I love. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So I'm looking forward to the voting, and the voting dates will be the weekend of October 28th and 29th at all the masses, and just want to assure you that your vote is confidential, and you will be able to vote both in person and virtually online. And you'll also be able to pick up a paper ballot and a packet in the office prior to the vote if you'd like to. So we'll see you then. I invite you to join us for a fall concert hosted by our mass choir on Friday, October 27th at 7.30 p.m. We'll be featuring our mass choir who have invited several uh, guest performers for a night of praise and worship in our Spiritist Sanctuary, so you don't want to miss that. And this week we send our condolences out to Judy Mazarevich on the death of her brother Ralph in Louisiana, Linda Potts on the death of her sister Jackie in Tennessee, Rita Claire Streb on the death of her sister-in-law, Sally, and to Bienvenue Salubica, one of our longtime participants and leaders in our Speaking from the Heart ministry on the sudden death of his nephew, Rodrik Lodai Longjema. So we send our hearts to you and our love to you and our prayers to you as you go through this very difficult time of loss. Well, friends, I hear that it's going to be quite rainy this week. And so as the raindrops fall, may you be saturated with knowing of God's deep love and connection and commitment to walk with you. And this comes with love from me to you. And I'll see you next week for our weekly pastor's update. Take care.